The king has arrived. This is a test to see if indeed an emperor has more power than an empress. To put in summary, women always win. Hello and thank you for clicking on this video where I'll be sharing my experience on Tang Zhu's Li Shimin. I know it's referred as Shimin Li a lot, but this is how it's normally pronounced for me, so I'm sticking with this. Before I begin, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Andy from Melbourne Chai Fi Audio for providing this in exchange for my honest feedback. If you're in Australia and you want to find a place to get any audio gears, especially ones from the Chai Fi scene, do check out Melbourne Chai Fi Audio's website. I'll leave a link in the description down below. As always, if you enjoyed my content, do consider hitting that like and subscribe subscribe button, I appreciate all of your support. Also, I was also provided with the Encounter version to compare with this, however, due to recent events, I will be holding off on my experience with the Encounter version until Tang Zhu has sorted out the issues with the Encounter version and once we have a revised version, I hope to get one in so I can make a full video about it, so while we wait for that, let's talk about the original version. Tang Zhu has been keeping up with the naming their IEMs after historic figures from Chinese history and this IEM has been given the name of an emperor. So there's definitely some expectation going into this to see if this IEM is indeed worthy to carry his name. Before we talk about sound, let's talk about accessories first. I think I've been spoiled by Tang Zhu's recent unboxing experience as you don't get any carrying pouch or wiping cloth, just the IEM, some interchangeable ear tips and the cable which is sufficient for what you need to get things going but no wiping cloth. Even the $20 one er had it. The cable itself actually feels quite good for its price point. There's some weight to it. It has a little bit of a rubber feel going around the cable, so it feels like it could take a little beating. Overall, a good enough cable for a king. As for the design of the IEMs themselves, they look really good, built and sculpt wise. Subtle textures on the corners, metal build which feels really solid. It has some weight to it, but it's not too heavy. Overall, a very solid and feeling IEM, especially for its price point. I'm 50-50 on the gold color and they have a silver variant which I feel looks a lot better. But if you like gold which is often associated with wealth, then I guess you'll love the gold color scheme on the Li Shimin. However, you're going to have risk having people staring at that gold coin in your ear. That almost sounds like a flex depending on who you are. For fit and comfort, overall a very comfortable wearing experience, the weight of the IEM with the cable gives it enough hold inside your ear, so yeah, a comfortable experience for me. Let's talk about sound. For bass, sub bass is a little bit rolled off, doesn't rumble as deep, but Li Shimin does have a good slam and impact. Keeps tracks engaging. Not the most full or weightiest bass, but good enough at this price point. There's not much to say or complain about the bass, it's good, but it's not majestic. For mid-range, vocal positioning is in front of the instrument. Instruments. However, despite that, the entire presentation is still on the forward side. Unfortunately, it's a little too forward for me personally. It's almost as if they're trying to compensate for the lack of resolution by bringing the entire presentation forward so you can quote unquote hear the details better. But at the cost of the overall experience, at least for me, if you love intimacy, and I mean like lips to ears intimacy, then sure, let the king in your ear. For treble, the treble is smooth to my ears, treble extension sounds a little shaved off, trumpet sounds a little blunted, effects resolution which I'll mention more later. I believe this helps with the forward presentation as mentioned earlier because if this was higher, then it could potentially be fatiguing, so I'm at least glad it's smooth, but it does have its compromise. For imaging and resolution, left and right positioning of the sounds is average, separation is just Okay, music sounds a little blended together, which is a common feature for IEMs at this price range, and it sounds a little bit on the noisier side, probably due to how forward the presentation is, and there's not enough separation. So imagine a blob of mashed potatoes to your ears. The details is just not as distinct or clear due to how the treble is presented, it's just missing something. For source, I'm getting to about 9 o'clock on the DAO on my hi fi EF400 on the 3.5mm termination which is about standard. So in summary, I've been a fan of a lot of Tang Zhu's product, but for me personally, this one didn't really hit the mark for me personally. For an IEM that carries the name of an emperor, it doesn't sound as majestic as I expected it to be. If you're talking purely mid-range forwardness, then yeah, sure, the majesty is right there at your face. But for me personally, I'd pick either the budget option of the one er or even save up a little bit more to get the Empress, the heyday edition. 
Mandarin, as they sound like a step above the Li Shimin, in my humble opinion. However, these are simply based on one man's personal experience, and I'm curious to hear yours. Is the Li Shimin your budget IEM pick, or which of Tang Zhu's IEM lineup is your favorite? Comment below, let me know, and once again, thank you very much to Melbourne Chi-Fi Audio for this experience, and until the next, take care.